Hello, welcome to Gamescope. I've got some health this time. That's uh, overstating the fact. Yeah. You're better at this kind of stuff, this kind of thing than I am. So we're playing N key, and it is a proceed uh, timed timed horror puzzle. Yeah. Uh, you get 30 minutes. I've already escaped from my little hole in the, in the ground with some quake jumping. Yep. We found a hole in uh, in behind a desk. We are searching for golden keys. Yep. And uh, and a spear uh, and another uh, nail to stick in Jesus there. <laughs> yeah. Where was Jesus? Did I walk right past there. him? Yeah. Okay, there. Yeah, so... So the blasphemy themes are running uh, very thorough. Mm-hmm. Uh, is that a door? Is it a door? Yeah, it is, a door. in fact, a door. You're going to need something to do it. Oh! Oh, wow. Iron, copper, gold, sulfur. Ah, remember you saw the... Oh, no, wait. We have to solve this this way. Oh! Uh, you found the symbol 7 on a medallion. I did. Go find out what one that one was. Because I was thinking they were going to be like old alchemical symbols, but they are not. Where was that? In the left. Right, right, right. Ah. Right. In there. Oh, right. In the oddly creepy place. Oh, yeah, we also discovered that according to the driver's license, somewhere around here is uh, 5 foot 40 inches. So uh, be on the lookout for a guy who's 8 feet tall. Yeah, can I click that again? Yeah, there, yeah, there we go. go. Five foot forty and inches. Very skinny. Maybe this is secretly a slender man. Game. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, next to the door and down. All oh, right. Right. Somewhere in here. There. I dropped is. it on the floor. So, what kind of a symbol is that? What kind of a medallion? Well, go just bring it with us. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, okay. and we have like fourteen minutes before. I don't know. So yeah, some, something, something happens. happens. We're assuming that the guy who People locked us down like... here is uh, gonna come back and. Yeah, he left in a car after throwing us down there with a bottle of water that said, uh, don't, uh, no, I won't hurt you. Yeah, I won't hurt you. But, uh, I don't think we're gonna take his word for it. That's not one of the symbols on here. It is not. Yeah, shit. It, maybe it indicates set. What does that do? I have no Nothing. idea. Nothing. Go up. Nope, can't do anything there. Uh, maybe... Maybe this goes to... Oh, is that the power? Do we have to turn power on? Yeah, Oh, maybe. hold on. Wait, did it only click on one of them? Do we have to do it that way? No, I, 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 I can't click on anything. All right, so I think maybe power needs to go on first yeah, or something. Yeah, so we need something else to utilize then. Well, at least leave the medallion there. Yeah, let's go check out the other side. Yeah, let's at, le let's at least find all the uh, pieces to crucify Jesus. I don't think we're going to beat Jesus. it this round. No, we've already done this one. Yeah, we've been this way. This is That's where, where we came from. So turn... Yes, right there, maybe? over here. No, right this further door. right. Yeah, let's try that. Oh, here we go. There's a, a cell. Oh, that's a good sign. See if your golden key will work on that. Nope. Well, that's not a cell. It's just a block stairway. Well, that's bullshit. I think the golden keys work on the... The uh, one door there. Yeah. The one with three. Yeah. So. What was that? Yeah, and they're keeping rats and lights are burning out and... Also, Cre it's really hard to... Hey, look at another... What was that? What tits was that? Yeah. Bad thing. Hey, a sharp nail. There we go. So now we're only down a spear. I wouldn't investigate that. I played Eternal Darkness. I know <laughs> what happens in the bathtubs. <laughs> There's another medallion. Yep. Six. And it has the weird square. Th that was one of the symbols of it. Okay, so let's just bring that back here. We'll just I think there was something else in that cupboard or armoire or whatever. Yep. Armoire. I'm just going to leave that over there So for, for future reference sake. And I think the half moon, moon and it's un half moon, so I think they're British. Oh wait, hold on. Did, fuck off. No, it doesn't match that. Never mind. That sounds like something hanging by a rope. There you go. Read that. Pathology number, patient results, a right posterior iliac aspirate. I don't know what that means. Date of procedure ninety five. Received date same day. Primary out, Dr. Carpenter. Acute myelogenous leukemia. So you got leukemia. That sucks. I don't know what this blood data means. How do, how do we know this is me, though? We don't, but bring Mr. Teddy. It smells of home. So maybe this is about the child place. Yeah. Scent for fish for mill. The fuck? Scent I don't know for what fish. that's all about. Well, everybody knows fish cures cancer. <laughs> oh. Bring Mr. Teddy. It smells of home. That, that weird... I think uh, that's bad grammar there, too. I think it should be he smells of home. Well, it's a child. 
writing it, isn't it? Children don't make that confusion. Foreign people make that confusion. Or pe non-English speakers. Ah, I see. Or, well, sometimes... Hey, look, another spear. So now we've got a lot of spears. Let's go stick them all in Jesus, see what happens. Hmm. Not doing very good for myself on this one, am I? Yeah. <laughs> Just keep saying terrible things. That's all right. But go stick them in Jesus. We've got like there, 11 minutes. We're not going to win this. There are terrible things happening in this game. You've met a terrible fate, haven't you? Go to the right now. Oh! Oh my god, they split Jesus in half! <laughs> I'm surprised we didn't have to use a spear, though. That would have made more sense. Yeah, it would have made more sense. Oh well. Yeah, much more biblical references. Another Flash key? There key. we go. So we got so something we got there. Let's see what three. else is in here before we leave. Some that is an up there on crucifix, like the one they... Who was it? St. Paul or somebody? St. Peter? I don't remember. Somebody met the, uh, a very horrible end here. Oh, well, you've met with a terrible fate, haven't you? <laughs> is that something I can... Hey, yeah, that's a, another driver's license. Let's see how freaking tall this guy is. <laughs> 5 feet 80 inches! <laughs> Roger Valen. Roger Valen. He's a very large man. Yeah, what is that, like, 10, 10 feet something? Uh, not quite, but... Log entry 214. Experiment. Prima materia analysis number four. Distilled and treated blood from subject six. 25, 24 times higher than all. Since they've never seen the right level, this is it. Might work. Let's remember to dispose of the previous subjects as soon as possible. Can't risk contamination. Purchase new glassware, probably just in case. Further test, brief lifespan extracted prima materia is also proportionally longer compelled and ironic that the essence of all life disappears as soon as it's unbound from accompanied matter as if it flees our world as soon as it's no longer bound by physical law to remain. Anyhow, new glassware and be extra diligent. The internal coating, this could be it. So apparently they're like taking out some kind of metaphorical spirit power. <laughs> take like the... Oh, what's that? Oh, yeah. Hey, there we three. go. Half moon. So we got like a couple of them now. Yeah, it seems like there's there's a bunch of different puzzles in here. Well, you also got the half moon shaped object. Try and use that in that middle area there because yeah. it looks like. See, there we go. Now it's powered up. Sweet. None of those are the right symbols. <laughs> maybe, but maybe it's it's like process of elimination, right? Yeah, so maybe we need to be using the right the. Uh... Okay, well I, I have two more keys. Yeah, let's go explore, explore that first. Maybe we'll get the fourth medallion too, because then we can know what the numbers are. Because it's like seven, six, and three right now. No, no, not this Where way. was that door? It was back yeah, to where there. came, yeah. We have eight minutes. <laughs> no pressure. No, no pressure. pressure. One, two, and three. Open. I'm kind of hoping this this ends like that other not-so-spooky game where it's just like the guy in the mask pops up and says, <laughs> <laughs> Something tells me these guys are trying a little harder than that. I thought that guy was trying. I thought he just sucked. <laughs> Okay, so we found the boiler room. At least it's warm. There's some uh, dead people. Good, good. Yep. I'm not sure. Oh, there's another driver's license. Sylvia Bishop. Oh, she's only 5 feet and 50 inches tall. She's a goddamn monster, these people. <laughs> we live in the, the, the world of Hold giants. on, the, the, hold on. Go back to that. I, I tried to establish the current year. Just guessed on that. She looks... That was something that sounded alive, Cal. What? That sound? That came from our kitchen? Oh. That did sound alive. It was probably Barbara. Yes. We're coming to get you, Barbara. <laughs> so is that it? No, there's got to be more in here. Is that page on the ground there? Right? Right? No, it's probably just reflection. Right? Yeah. There. No. Okay, that's nothing. Yeah, it's just... Keep, keep looking. Near the, the bodies, I think, is going to be your better luck. Probably. More crap in with the dead people. Maybe we have to turn the furnace off and take something out of there. Can we do that? Can yeah, we, let's a... look for a pipe. Can I do this? Maybe I have to find like a a pipe or something to turn the gas off. There ain't shit in here. Well, there probably is, I'm just not seeing it. Bloody adventure games. Go around and click on the things. Rub the two things together until the something else happens. <laughs> until the something happens. 
I am quite curious to know what happens when the, the timer runs out though. Hmm. Spooky steam pipes! Yeah, the Is whole... there something next to the door there or is that just bad lighting as well? That thing? Yeah, no, that's just bad lighting. The Unity Engine, which is what I'm assuming this was made in. I'm not actually certain. Yeah, I'm not sure. It does either. look nice though. I gotta get points for that. Yeah. And it has the right level of spooky where you know you you, you see the time no, this is the where we started. Yeah. Get the fuck out of here. Like, well, know. I mean we might have to go back. What did we do investing at the far end there? Over here? Yeah. There's another door. Oh, Fuck off. This. Rats are not scary. Okay. So now that should open. That was actually really tense. Yeah. I'm expecting there to be something horrible in here. There's, uh, there are already things that are terrifying see, me. Right here, no evil monkey statue. <laughs> Although his polygons are not looking so hot. There's a speak no evil monkey statue. Yeah, something tells me I'd be a lot more terrified if I was mask. playing this alone. Hey, there we go. Uh. Oh wait, it was. Okay, I, I fucked this up, so I'm just gonna. Okay, okay, it was nope. left, yep. middle, right, empty. What? That's no, what it was. It was upside down. Hold on, hold on. Uh, upside down, that one, yep. Up. Nope. Yes. This one? Yep. Now that one. Now that one. So it's right, middle, left, empty. Oh, Boom! Okay, yeah. Open, Open sesame. Sesame. It's a bottle of something. Don't really have a hole in the throat. Is that a big pot of blood? I think so. That is a lot more blood than you'll get from a few giant people. Yes. Well, actually, I guess if you got 10 and 11 foot, foot tall people running They're around. They're going to need a lot of blood. They will need a lot of That's kind of weird. Uh, hold on. Light, light. There we go. Oh, light yes. switch. Yes, that would make We need sense. to keep doing that. Yeah. That's very helpful. <laughs> Check at the start. Okay, There's a book. Here you go. The bringer of true knowledge to mankind, Enki, the immortal serpent. He is our conduit to the unknowable forces of magic. His command is our purpose. His ends are ours. Gratefully, we will bleed the unworthy for the knowledge bestowed upon mankind, curing humanity with each blood sacrifice. The sudden increase of human dross has given us no shortage of specimens. Uh, the hordes of feeble men among us are in desperate need of culling. But these. Beg your pardon times present us with an unprecedented opportunity that previous ages could only dream of. The methods remain the same, but the scale has changed. The sheer amount of mundane humans available for harvest is staggering. We could launch mankind into a new industrial revolution if only we increase the pace of culling. We must therefore further devote ourselves to finding suitable blood sacrifices for the glory of the, glory of the immortal serpent Shaitan. Uh, that is actually not a typo. The source of true knowledge, Awe Satanus. Ave Satanas. Yeah, that's Latin for Hail Satan. And you're sure they're not also supposed to have this the double T thing? I don't think so, but, you know, typos happen. Yeah, yeah. I'm just going to make fun of them as they happen. <laughs> I like that they got their Latin right, and that I'm, gets more points for I'm me. I'm pretty sure this game is still in early access, so that... that I'm not upset. Be, this is yeah, good. Yeah, this is, this is a pretty good game. Fuck off. Goddamn right. Oh, there, wait, no, turn right. Yep, there, there, there it is. Oh. There's the last one. A medallion with engravings, so 7637 is the ones we found. You want to just run that? Because we're running very short on time right now. Oh, yes, we are. Where is it? I'm interested to see what happens. No, wrong way. Wait, no, hold on. Turn around. I think we're supposed to put these medallions up there. Yeah, we are. That makes a lot more sense. You can even see where they match up. Oh, yeah. Neat. Did it like magnetically hook on or? I know it, it dropped. Oh, it didn't do it anything. Yeah. Fuck off. Is it staying? Maybe. Is it supposed to do that? I don't know. Is it nope, supposed to it's do not that? supposed to do that. <laughs> I think we broke your game. Sorry. All right. Well, uh, let's. Yeah, let's just go back to that room. Yeah. Let's spend our last minute and a half before we meet a gruesome death. Scary monkeys. There's the see no evil monkey. 
What I, oh, oh, oh flashlight. Oh, naturally it doesn't work. Yeah, can't pick it up. What is that, that? A, a DS? Those condoms. <laughs> God. No, no, it's an just empty a wallet. wallet. I thought it was. I thought it was a Game Boy. <laughs> Game Boy SD. That's what it looked like to me. Mm. Oh, what's page? this page? No, I can't read that one. Yeah. We can read the book though. Yeah, we, we did already. No, no. Oh wait, no. Prime mover of humanity and bringer of true knowledge, Enki, whose symbol is the serpent, bestowed upon mankind souls so that we be could become more than what we were, more than what we are. He protected us from destruction and shared with us the secrets to civilization and magic, yet we have failed him despite all he has done for us. We have been led astray, distracted by false light and false new gods. But the immortal serpent Enki has not abandoned us. He is still among us, as he always has been, protecting us from our own folly and gradually lifting us up from the abyss. It is in your name, old one, that we sacrifice, sacrifice the life blood of... You know, it's just a broken steam pipe. Oh, it's gas. We're being gassed oh, again. Oh, yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> Guess that's what happens when the, uh, the timer runs out. That's disappointing. Well, I mean... Harvesting your blood. Do we get like a post credits death scene? No, we just get rat screams? Yeah. Maybe? Is that us being dragged away or is it someone peeing on us? <laughs> yeah. Oh no, okay, we do get a nice post credit death scene. We're well, gonna get strung up yeah, and nailed the cross? Or was that just my head? Our head. Well. Huh, so actually we didn't do too terribly. Yeah. Killer's identity, lore, and religious intentions. So yeah, that was a pretty neat game with a a good, good design elements, I think. I feel disappointed now that that was all that happened when I died. I was really hoping for something like horrible to start stalking me through the house. Yeah. Yeah, that it seems like him coming to get you could create like a lot of tension, but uh, yeah, yeah, probably be difficult to animate. And or just like you know, shutting the lights off everywhere so it just goes dark in places that he is as you try desperately to run away. Yeah. <laughs> it would also make for a good like boss run at the end. Because a lot of these things, as soon as you find out what's going to happen, the uh, the joy is dead. That's yeah, true. But at the same time, it's still built more like an adventure game than it is like like Amnesia, yeah, like all... which is is still more like it has very tight first person controls. I don't like I know this one's in a first person perspective, but it's definitely not not built around that. Right? Yeah, and I felt like the puzzles weren't bad either. Yeah. Like I am actually interested to see how we're going to fix this. And there there was a sprint function, so you know, who knows? Like uh, Maybe it's just to get around a little faster, but it could also be to get away from something. Yeah, a nice little end scene like that would be good. Yeah. And I like the time frame. I actually really like that. It's the perfect length for something like this. You just go in, you've got half an hour to do this, and it, it allows you to make a nice, tight, small game like this. That, yeah. Uh, I'd play it again. Yeah, me too. Mm -hmm. Might actually... <laughs> try and try and finish this. But uh, uh, what else was I gonna say? Yeah, it did thirty minutes. Warrants multiple playthroughs. Yeah. Good. Well, until you beat it anyway. Like this is the sort of thing that I'd give like two to three tries at. But at the way you know, we got three out of five on all three oh, yeah. of those. And did you notice too when we were reading like the books and the pages, the timer was still going down. Yes, so it's I like, like that. Yeah. More, Although if I wasn't saying it out loud, it probably wouldn't have you know taken so long. Yeah, that's true. You read and you read a lot faster than I do. I read so slow. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, but I get the feeling I'd, I'd get tired after a couple of, after a couple of shots, especially having to restart from the beginning. But also because of the thirty minute timeline, I can assume that it's roughly not going to take that long. I just do it again. Oh, I wonder if this this newspaper here is like our death. Suspected human remains found after house fire. So I assume he, it would be us and everyone else. Yeah, here. exactly. He finished his work and burned the house down with the rest of us in it. But on the other end, it doesn't. You know, all the suspected supernatural elements. I mean, there was like a flash, and it, well, well, maybe we'll do that in another video. Yeah. There were a couple of spooky things, but that was it. Indeed, I d and I'd imagine too that playing this alone would be a lot more tense, because even <laughs> even that lightning, uh, you didn't see it in this video. Actually, I I have the uh, test recording <laughs> of me seeing that. Is going, there like I'm a going, What? Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. So there was one scare, and I I'm it guessing they're really PT. Yeah, they're really uh they're really well paced out. Because I'm sure, I'm sure there's more than one of them. That's just the first one. 
Anyway, pretty good. Worth your time, Enki. Uh, if you like horror games. Plus, it's pretty good that we didn't, you know, spoil the whole thing. Yes, that's true. We wouldn't want to play it all the way through on, on uh, quick video. Look. Yeah, quick look. There you go. You got to see the whole game. Yep. It's good, but now you don't need to buy it. <laughs> so go buy it. So go buy it. Wait, is it out yet? Yeah, it's out. It, you'd be. It, it, I think it might still be in early access, but you can definitely buy it on the Steam store. It's uh, published by Sedesco, and I can't remember who the developers were, but it's Sedesco who sent me the key. Okay. So thank you for that. Good job. Indeed. I would pay several dollars for this. I'll buy 50 of them. You are a terrible consumer. <laughs> All right. See you later.